Endless Roads with Liesel 81 Burundi, Road to Lake Chohoha People often ask me what I spent most of my time doing in the 22 months I was on the road. And that's it. I was on the road most of the times. I'm fascinated by the roadside and what happens when you go from A to B. And also being able to share this experience with other people. So of course, most of the times that I traveled, it was using public transport and it meant covering several kilometers and spending hours on the road. For my first trip, during my road trip through Burundi, I was headed to Kigozi to take a boat trip on Lake Chohoha. Around that area, Kigozi and Kirundi, you have three beautiful different lakes and I wanted to see all three of them. I took a volcano bus from Bujumbura to Kirundu and then from Kirundu I had to take a boda boda or a taxi. But you know me, I like the border. According to Google, the distance is 206 kilometers. If I looked at the time, there was a route for 3 hours 55, another one for 4 hours something. But it didn't matter which country and um, what town I was in. Most times, the time frame on Google Maps was just an estimate. Because if it wasn't two hours or three hours or four hours or five hours more, maybe sometimes it was only 30 minutes more, but most unlikely. Reason sometimes being that there's traffic, the roads are not as good, or just that it's the way it is, or there are speed limits. So in this case, I did take a little longer to get to Kigozi, but I enjoyed the interaction, watching the activities on the roadside, the people, what they were doing, you know, just just being part of it. So join me on this trip and on the series Endless Roads, I'll be showing you the different parts that I went through to get from A to B and the different things you can observe. One thing you can do is try to see if you can recognize billboards, brands, cars, clothes. I think it's such an interesting thing. It's like people watching but in a bus and I really love it. I don't know if I can inspire you <laughs> to be a fan of it like I am, but let me share this experience with you.
Since I had never been on this trip before, I didn't know what was going to come next, so it was hard for me to decide when to stop filming. I was just so fascinated by everything that I kept filming. Of course, I didn't film all the way till uh, Kirundu, but um, doing that alone even got me into conversation, and it was on this trip that I met Oliver, who literally became my official translator and guide all through my road trip in Burundi because, in case you don't know, the official languages in Burundi are Kirundi and French and I don't speak any of the two. So once you move away from Bujumbura, then it gets trickier and even in Bujumbura it was not that easy to find English speakers. So being on this trip and just having that connection, that interaction, and getting to know people, this is one of the things that fascinates me about the road. How somehow we just, at the end of the day, realize we're all humans and we connect and we help each other and we continue and then our ways part. We may see or may never see each other again, but for that moment, we connected and it made a difference. This is why I love the road. So our bus just stopped. We're going to oh am I coming? Yes, we're going to uh, Kirundu and the bus just stopped for like a pee break. There's no toilet. We're literally peeing on the side, which is normal. But the valley is really nice at the back. And I say with all kinds of stuff staring at me, I might be able to find the bus. But I think that's uh, the name of the game, stare. But it's nice. This is where we are. Oh no, he's gone. There's the bunny. Wow. And there's a road down there. I don't want to put it Really beautiful. Go back in on the bus. So after quite a number of hours, I got to Kigozi. I checked in and I did two boat rides on the lake at sunset and at sunrise and they were both beautiful. And then the next morning I hopped on again on the motorbike on my way to Kirundu so I could see the other two lakes. Okay, so this is the living area of my $7.50 room. This is the bedroom. Okay. I'm going to show you the bathroom. That's the bathroom. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Diesel81.